Like artists of yesterday, I love to fill my studio with antique plasters. In Italy, these are known as gypsoteca, or plaster galleries. I also love to collect many books. Unfortunately, many of them are in foreign languages, mostly French and Italian. My favorite place to get antique plaster casts is Goose Galleries in Boston. They have very excellent plaster reference casts for your studio. I love to look at the pictures, but I'm curious as to what they have to say and put it in context. One such book is Stutura Yomo. I love this book, so I decided to start translating it and see what it says in context. I see this book is all over the web and people love its pictures. But what do the authors have to say? Another anatomy book with a lot of plaster references is Figure du Corse. And of course, please excuse me because I don't speak French, but I'd love to see what this author has to say in context with the, with the marvelous plaster collections, probably the most extensive plaster collection in the world. Over the years, many people have come to me and said, Peter, I want to do figure art just like you. And I remember that back in 1988. I already had nearly 20 years of experience in 1988. One artist came to me and said that. He went to school in 1989, I think, and graduated in 1994. And now he knows how to type ropes around big logs and he does do welding quite well, but he can't do the figure. Actually, for the last hundred years, universities really have been concentrating on toilet art. What do you notice about this figure? Compare the foreground to the background, the smooth foreground to the rough background. Take note on the symmetrical foreground next to the asymmetrical background or how one rotation is pitted against another between the foreground and background. Better than reading any text you learn from observation of the masters, comparing one master's work to another. And of course, there is no greater teacher than studying, particularly the unfinished works of Michelangelo. Every lesson of sculpture is within those unfinished sculptures. But I still really want to read what these artists had to say to us and have to say to us currently. Since I can find very little university research on the subject, I have found a way of extracting text without a special operating system such as Windows, Mac, or Linux. I was even able to extract the text from this poor quality image that I took from my iPhone. I really didn't want to cut up a $300 book to put it in my scanner, so I tried the iPhone, but that would take too long. Fortunately, I found a website called archive.org and was able to find the book there. I enlarged the book on the web and started to make screen captures. And to my surprise, I was able to translate every single page. To get the image from archive.org, I selected the page that I wanted to grab the image from. I did a screen capture, which is Command Shift F4 for a Mac, and I got a PNG file. I opened the PNG file up just to make sure it was clear and then closed it again. You then navigate to Google Drive and drag it into Google Drive to upload it. Wait for it to upload. After it's been uploaded, 
you find your file, right click on that file, go up to open with Google Docs. It'll take a minute for it to translate, but while it's there, you'll start with an image. You'll see the image there, and then below it will be the text. And of course, the text is in Italian. So I grab the text and navigate over to Google Translate. Drop it into Google Translate, and within a second or two, it's in English. I then copy it, put it into a document format, and save it. This I'm saving as page 10. I can go back and, in, and edit it and insert the pictures uh, so that I can see everything in context.